hello students today we will discuss the question answers of the lesson reflection of light at plane surfaces the first type of questions are reflection on concepts look at the first question children if a ray incidents normally on a plane mirror what will be the angle of reflection so by the laws of reflection we know that angle of the incidence is equal to angle of reflection so we'll explain it here when light gets reflected from a surface the angle of reflection is equal to the angle of incidence next second question explain the laws of reflection so we'll explain the laws of reflection here so first point is a source of light an opaque object and a screen are needed to form a shadow next second point light travels in a straight line third point when light gets reflected from a surface the angle of reflection is equal to the angle of incidence next fourth point the incident ray the normal at the point of incidence and the reflected ray all lie in the same plane so this is the normal ray and this is a incident ray and this is a reflected ray so the, always the angle of i is equal to angle of r third question explain the process of formation of an image with a pinhole camera draw a ray diagram to show this so here we'll explain the process of formation of image with a pinhole camera look at the first diagram so when we incident a candle the light from the top of the candle it enters the ray through the pinhole camera and it is formed the inverted image so how it is forming we will explain by the points the light from candle travels straight in all directions from each point of the flame of the candle so but only the light coming in some particular direction can enter into the camera through its pin hole next point light which comes from the point at the top of the flame goes straight towards the bottom of the screen and light which comes from the point at the bottom of the flame goes straight towards the top of the screen like this from the top of the flame comes to the bottom of the screen and from the bottom of the flame it goes straight to the top of the screen so hence we will see the inverted image like this so the other rays are blocked by the black sheet next this leads to the formation of an inverted image next question fourth question why does the image in plane mirror suffer lateral inversion now we'll explain this the appearance of image in a plane mirror by interchanging left and right is known as lateral inversion the light rays which come from our right ear get reflected from the plane mirror and reach our eye our brain feels that the ray that is the reflected ray is coming from the inside of the mirror that is why our right ear looks like left ear in the image see look at the image here so this one it becomes when you see the image of the j alphabet j in the plane mirror it appears in the reverse form it is turned towards the right side it in the mirror you can see it as the left like this so the image formed is like this this is called lateral inversion next fifth question draw a ray diagram to understand the formation of image for a pointed object by plane mirror explain it so here this is a pointed object over here so these are the incident rays and these are the reflected rays which are reaching the eye so here o is the point object o is the point object some rays from o reach the mirror and get reflected 
when we look into the mirror the reflected rays seem to be coming from the point i the reflected rays seem to be coming from the point i so point i is the image of point object o observe the distances of object o and image i from the surface of the mirror we find that these distances are equal these distances are equal next questions next second bit of questions are application of concepts in that first question in the adjacent figure a o and ob are incident and reflected rays respectively angle of aob is 90 degrees find the values of angle of incidence and the angle of reflection so here an incident ray a and the reflected ray b so here o so here angle aob it is 90 degrees so draw the perpendicular to the surface which divides the angle in equal parts so angle aob is equal to 90 degrees so half of therefore the angle of incidence is equal to angle of reflection so i is equal to r that is 45 degrees next question bharat stands in front of a plane mirror at a distance of 5 meters from the mirror and observes his image in the mirror if he moves 2 meters towards the plane mirror then what will be the distance between bharat and his image so here distance of bharat from plane mirror is 5 meters bharat moved 2 meters towards the plane mirror we know object distance is equal to image distance for a plane mirror so image moves 2 meters closer in the plane mirror therefore the distance between bharat and his image that is 3 plus 3 that is 6 meters third question explain diagrammatically the image of letter b in a plane mirror so here the image of b in the plane mirror it becomes reverse this is also due to lateral inversion now we'll explain it the light ray which come from top of the letter b gets reflected from the plane mirror and reach our eye our brain feels that the ray reflected ray is coming from the inside of the mirror similarly happens for the rays coming from the bottom of the letter b also that is why lateral inversion takes place and the image be, seems to be reversed like this so incident ray they get reflected like this and it appears in the plane mirror as like this and the rays coming from the bottom of the b and gets reflected like this and they appear the bottom next question fourth question why can't we see our image in a white sheet of paper so it reflects light we cannot see our image in a white sheet of paper because white pieces of paper have a rough surface that means diffused reflection takes place when a beam of light is incident on the white paper it can be reflected at different angles hence we cannot see our image on white paper next question discuss the merits and demerits of using mirrors in building elevation so first we'll see the merits what are the advantages when sunlight falls on the building the light rays reflect back and building does not heat up second point is if we use plane mirrors in building elevation we will get a virtual erect and same size of object formed next are the demerits disadvantages elevation of buildings with mirrors is not suggestible these mirrors reflect sun rays at day time and reflects lighting from nearby electrical bulbs at night time which causes confusion and disturbances for the vehicles and people who are running on the nearby roads it leads to accidents third point is birds like sparrows crows will get confusion while flying on roads and the last fourth point is glass elevation is not environment friendly as natural air does not enter into the building next point glass elevation is also not safe as it is easy access to thieves 
last one is due to lateral inversion of plane mirror images are reversed next bit of questions higher order thinking questions look at the figure here observe the adjacent figure ab and bc a two plane mirrors arranged at 120 degrees a ray incident at an angle 55 degrees on ab find the values of x so here look at the figure ab is it is an angle of 120 degrees so a ray incidence at an angle of 55 degrees we have to find the value of x from here so as we know that always angle of incidence is equal to angle of reflection i is equal to r so here a this is the a this is the incident ray and reflected ray always they are equal it is 55 means this will also be 55 angle of a angle of b it is equal to 90 degrees as it is the perpendicular this is a perpendicular line so 55 plus angle of b is equal to 90 degrees the sum of a angle of a angle of b is 90 degrees so as we know angle of b angle of a as 55 we can find out angle of b so 90 degrees angle of b is equal to 90 minus 55 so angle of b is 35 degrees so here this is 35 degrees in the triangle angle of a angle of c and 120 degrees is it makes up the total triangle angles are 180 degrees so here we know angle of b is 35 degrees from here and 120 degrees we know here and angle of c totally it is 180 degrees now we can find angle of c it is 180 minus 155 so angle of c is 25 degrees so here this is 25 degrees now we know that this is a perpendicular angle of c and angle of d it is 90 degrees now we can find angle of t as we know angle of c is 25 degrees we can find out the angle of d 90 minus 25 angle of d is equal to 65 from the figure we know that angle of d and angle of x incident ray and normal ray incident ray and the reflected ray always they will be equal as angle of d is 65 degrees angle of x is also 65 degrees next question niharika holds a clock in her in her hand which shows the time 3 o'clock if she observes the clock in a plane mirror what will be the time that the clock show in the plane mirror we know that the time it is 3 o'clock when we observe it in the plane mirror it will be reversed due to lateral inversion it will be 9 o'clock in a plane mirror the image undergoes lateral inversion so the time 3 o'clock in the plane mirror appears as 9 o'clock next question two plane mirrors are fixed at right angles to each other and an object is placed between them as shown in the figure trace the path of the rays by which an observer see the final image in one of the mirrors two mirrors plane mirrors are arranged perpendicular and a candle is placed an object is placed and a person is observing so how are the images form will explain with the help of a diagram here here yeah. figure so here two plane mirrors they are arranged perpendicularly and the object is placed here three images are formed p1 p2 and p3 see when two plane mirrors oa oa and ob are perpendicular to each other and if we place an object like candle at p between them we can observe three images at p1 p2 and p3 p1 p2 and p3 so the rays coming over incident rays and they get reflected and we can see the image p2 next incident ray image p1 and p3 image so three images we can see p1 is the image due to mirror oa oa p3 is due to mirror ob 
P3 due to OB and P2 is due to reflection of both mirrors. So like this we need to explain. Next question. Two divergent rays originating from the same point have an angle of 10 degrees between them. If they strike a plane mirror with same incident angle, what will be the angle of reflection? As two divergent rays are striking at same angle of incidence, so their angle of reflections are also same. Angle of I is equal to angle of here, angle of I is equal to 10 degrees, then angle of R is also 10 degrees. Last question. The size of the image in the mirror seem to be decreased when you move the object towards your eye from the mirror. Draw the diagram showing angles depicting the situation. So here this is a plane mirror. Object nearer to the eye. Object distant to the eye. Image. O is forming the image O dash is forming the I dash image. As it is moving, object is moving towards the I, the image is forming far away. Theta 1 is the angle of vision formed by I and theta 2 is the angle of vision formed by I dash. So here M is the plane mirror. Okay children, like this we have to explain. Next we Next, we will see the multiple choice question. Angle of incidence is equal to angle of reflection. This rule is explained by principle. What principle? Fermat principle A. Next, which of the following letters does not suffer lateral inversion? Here, C, it, it becomes like this. O, it, does, it appears same as it is. And B, it appears like this. And N also, it reverses in its position. So B is the answer. O does not suffer lateral inversion. Next. Area of light incident on a plane mirror at an angle of 90 degrees to its surface. What will be the angle of reflection? So here angle of incidence is 90 means angle of reflection is also 90 degrees. Next. If we move an object away from the plane mirror the size of image seems to be increasing. Next. Which of the following is incorrect with respect to the image in a plane mirror? This image is real. Okay children, thank you.